Hello, welcome to my new video. Today with Emily, uh, Amelie, the the movie by Jean Pierre Jeunet from two thousand and one. In uh, several um, editions from all, all over the world, um, I have uh, waited a long time for, to make this video because I finally got uh, the Japanese edition. I was looking for that for ages. I have a French edition, a German one, a Canadian edition, a German kind of media book, and a kimchi DVD kind of full slip. If you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing to my channel. It would help a lot. I begin with a German edition, The Fabelhafte Welt der Amelie. In this tin box, Three of them are tin boxes, the Japanese, the French one and the German one. In this uh, kind of orange um, tin box with the J card here. And here how we can open it. And here's what's inside which is not that much. Four beautiful cards like Polaroid cards. The back sides are also different for each card. And here's what's inside. A uh, uh, usual tip case and as a gimmick um, another movie with Audrey Tattoo, The Amelie. It's a kind of follow. Well, it's not a, really a follow-up. It was made uh, in 2002, a year after Amelie, after the success of Amelie, and uh, the auditor too plays a very different role. In English, this movie is called "He Loves Me, He Loves Me Not." A la folie, pas du tout. In French, yeah, and well. And also there are, mm, well, marbles. <laughs> yeah. A bag with beautiful marbles, but that's, that's, that's it. Now to the three editions uh, uh, that have much more stuff in, in them. The Japanese, the Canadian and the, the, Fra uh, the French edition. As you can see, it's a French-Canadian edition. Le, uh, Le Fabuleux Destin, Destin d'Emilie Paulin. I hope I pronounce it somewhat correctly. I can't speak French. Uh, which can be translated as Fabulous Destiny of Amélie Paulin. And I begin with the Canadian edition, the French Canadian edition. I suppose from Quebec. With this huge slipcover. It's a really huge box. The artwork, artwork of the three editions is very, very similar. And there are two things in it. Uh, another box, a cardboard box, and an album. An empty album. Four photos. Well, as usual with such gimmicks, it's uh, the quality is not that perfect. It's a... Uh, somewhat old it's, it's a really old edition DVD edition and well the glue uh, doesn't work anymore fortunately since the boxes have a similar content I will compare all three boxes now to the Japanese edition in this slip cover with title in French so you can see on the back side that it's a Japanese edition, premium edition, premium tin box. Now let's compare the boxes. It's the Canadian box, the cardboard box. Very similar artwork.
and here are the both tin boxes from Japan and France. They are very very similar but uh, the Japanese box is somewhat smaller. And here's the French one. And here's the J card. Here you can see what's inside the box. So you can open the Canadian box this way and here at first the soundtrack and a pebble. <laughs> a real pebble as a gimmick. I suppose they they all look it's, it's a real pebble it's not it's it's nothing that is custom made i suppose they all look somewhat differently because they collected pebbles and put them in the box well nice <laughs> so and the rest is here behind it now to the rest of the box with a lot of lot of stuff Cards and digipacks, and uh, cards and the digipacks. I will compare them uh, later in the video. Now, at first, here's the J card with everything that's inside. Here's uh, this affichette, very small uh, poster, very very small kind of poster uh, with the signature of Jean-Pierre Jeunet. Uh, a big booklet. I will show them together, all, all three booklets. Um, yeah, this envelope with some cards with a Gnomes World Tour. I will show. Uh, they are included also in other boxes, so I will compare them. And here is this this photo, like photos that, that came from the. Um, like photos in these photo cabins, cabins that you can find, for example, on the railway stations. Then a small booklet. It's actually from the DigiPack, like a flyer. But, well, I thought it was safer if I put it, um, if I keep it outside of the DigiPack. You will see when I show the DigiPack. It's not uh, well. Yeah. Right, and here are some photos. Uh, I will also show them together with other stuff from the other boxes. And now to the soundtrack in this beautiful digipack. I love, uh, I like uh, digipacks most usually more than than simple jewel cases. For me, they are more collectible. Unfortunately, there is no place for the for 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 the booklet, so the booklet is well is simply loose inside the digipack. Right. Infos about the songs, yeah. and here's the pebble. So and here are also this two thingy. Then the you can actually put in the bottle of wine. I I don't know what what is what what those are supposed to be. Here's an instruction. So you can bend them. And here's the bottle. And uh, the funny thing on the on the J card is actually stated no wine included. <laughs> so only those things. But they state uh, Quebec, so it's um, so he has actually confirmed that it's from from French Canada, from Quebec. Now to the big French box. I got it for five euros. <laughs> uh, that was um, I bought it from a big seller, and I suppose it was a mistake. So usually this box costs not not less than. 30 euros. So, 
uh, here is uh, uh, some stuff um, that that is similar to the stuff in other box. So here is the Gnomes World Tour in in a little bit different envelope. As I said before, I will show them together with with other uh, things. So another envelope with some uh, other stuff, uh, a booklet, big booklet, a poster and a digipack. So and here and under the digipack is again the the soundtrack CD, but I already showed that one. Now at first to the poster, here's comparison this poster from the uh, this kind of poster from the Canadian version uh, this one it's it's the very same artwork with the signature of Jean Pierre Jeunet, the director uh yeah but big <laughs> medium sized poster so in this envelope are big beautiful cards like polaroid cards but i will show them later at first to the japanese box so how this now this japanese box opened uh -huh, here with some Japanese text with this digipack and here's in French as usual some cards similar to the cards in the Canadian one uh, another envelope with the world tour of the gnome another booklet in Japanese 